Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome. Noon Power Yoga on a Friday. Let's get started. Child's Pose to begin. If you're not already there, that is. Yeah. Ah, so just easing your way into the posture. Make sure your knees are as wide as they can go. Big toes touching behind you. Arms stretched out directly ahead of your shoulders. Just get a little bit active. Spread your fingers wide so you feel some energy in your hands. As you push down into the palms, try to feel just a little bit of space in your elbows and your shoulders. And that gentle push of the hips back toward the heels to get some space in the spine, a little space in the sacrum. Just starting our process of getting into the body, starting to feel a little movement. Just feeling yourself grounded here, forehead just connected with the mat, your eyes are open. And just reminding ourselves that this is a breath exercise above everything else. Staying connected to your breath in and out through the nose is our goal. So begin here by taking a big inhale through the nose, fill the lungs nice and big, and just feel the space you can create. And slowly exhale, just letting all the breath leave the body until you feel a little gap. And again, take another big inhale through the nose, fill the lungs, fill the belly, just really take your time, let it build and expand. And exhale fully, completely, just still connected to the sensations of the breath as it leaves the body. One more time, big inhale through the nose as you fill the lungs and the belly. Start to feel your ribs open up, space in the shoulders, the neck, the back, the hips. Hold it there. Take one more sip if you can. And exhale into your yoga practice. Ah. So let go of any expectations you brought into the room today. Take a one posture at a time. Let's get right into it. Tuck the toes, lift the tail, and come into a downward facing dog. I really mean that. Sometimes we think, oh, I'm feeling good, or I'm injured, or whatever it is, and we have expectation. Let that go. Just allow yourself to be in down dog right now. Feel this posture, gaze between the toes, and care about it. Yeah, push your chest back toward your thighs. Go for a little walk in place to mobilize the body. Left heel high, right heel high, bending the knees. Maybe even feeling some movement in your lower back. Yeah. Just taking note if there's any self-talk about how you feel in your body, just let it go. Just be in your sensations today. Have the intent to take care of yourself at each step of the way. Rise up high into the balls of the feet, get the heels to lift up. Yeah, open through the arches. There you go. Nice big opening for the bottoms of the feet. Thighs are locked, pushing your chest back toward the knees. And then stretch the heels down to the mat. Bring your left foot two inches closer to your right foot. Lock out your right leg. And on the inhale, bring it up and back. Stretch back or reach back. Keep gazing at the big toe on your left foot. Keeping your hips squared off. Excellent. Sometimes the right foot veers over to the right a little bit. Bring it a little bit more center. There you go. Feel like someone's pulling on your toes. Stretch back or reach back. Then return the right foot to your left foot. Lock out your left leg. Make sure you don't bend it. Keep it straight. And on the inhale, bring it up and back. Yeah, just moving with the breath and bringing length into the body from beginning to end. Try not to let the left hip lift or dip. There you go. Strong push out of the shoulders. And you like someone's pulling you back. Just feel the length. Engage your core. Step the left foot all the way to the top of the mat. Right foot follows. So you're standing at hip width apart. Hold on to your opposite elbows here. Let your head relax. Good. Make sure your feet are hip width so you know you're nice and stable and then you can sway left and right side to side with the upper body. So again, we're here to take care of ourselves. Feel that nice nurturing energy right now. Just letting go of some tension in the shoulders, the neck. Sometimes taking care of ourselves means pushing to our edge. Sometimes it means taking a rest. Sometimes we don't know until we're in the moment. So just stay in contact. Stay curious about what it means to take care of yourself each step of the way today. And take a big inhale. Exhale, release the grip. Allow the arms to hang heavily. Make sure your head is relaxed. A little more air and let your head relax. Keep the weight tip forward. There you go. And then just round up one vertebra at a time. Try to go just like a little bit slower than you like to go. Yeah. 
just so you can feel really patient with your body and patient with your practice, very intentional with our movement. Yeah, and let your heads stack nicely right on top of your shoulders. Bring your feet back together side by side. Relax your arms at your side. Just find yourself in a mountain pose. So just starting at the top of the mat, Victoria. Good, toes and heels together, gazes forward, beautiful. Just nice and present with yourself. Feel that nice gentle awareness of the whole room. Let's have a great class. Inhale the arms out, back and up. Look up as your palms connect. And exhale, swan dive, chin away from chest. Try to look forward as long as you can, then tuck your chin into the forward fold. Inhale to a halfway lift. The gaze comes forward, the back flattens. Keep the back flat as you plant the palms and step or jump back to a strong plank pose. Excellent, thighs lock, core lock. It's really common to look down in that transition and the back curves. Try to look forward, keep your spine as straight as possible. Thighs locked, a little tuck of the tailbone to keep your lower abdomen engaged. Thighs squeeze one more time. Take a big inhale. On the exhale, shift forward, lower down to your chaturanga, low hold, elbows in, keep your hips level. Inhale, upward facing dog, fill the lungs, draw the shoulders back. And exhale, roll over the toes, push the hips back. Strong, long, downward facing dog. In your down dog, make sure you're pushing down into the palms, elbows as straight as possible. But if your shoulders are up by your ears, try to pull your shoulders down away from your ears and feel your lats engage. Strong, stable posture. Excellent, A series, inhale, bend the knees, push the hips back and look out ahead of you. Exhale, step, jump or float between the hands into a forward fold, chin is tucked here. Halfway lift, inhale, gaze is forward, back is flat. Exhale, forward fold. Flat back, inhale the arms, out, back and up, look up, stretch up, palms touch. Exhale, swan dive, gazing forward all the way down into your forward fold. Halfway lift, inhale, gaze is forward, back is flat. Exhale, plant the palms, plank pose. Shift forward, lower down, chaturanga, low hold. Inhale, upward facing dog, draw the shoulders back, a lift through the sternum, and exhale, roll over the toes, send the hips back, downward facing dog. There's no rush, just move with the breath, nice and connected. Just one more A series today. Inhale, bend the knees, push the hips back, look forward. Exhale, step, jump, or float between the hands to fold. Half lift. Forward fold, inhale, rise, and exhale, swan dive. Halfway lift, inhale, exhale, plant the palms, plank pose, shift forward, lower down, low hold, stay with it. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, roll over the toes, downward facing dog. Good. So really connected to each and every transition, not just arriving in the posture, but caring about the whole journey into the posture. So B series, inhale, bend the knees, push the hips back, look forward like you're coiling a spring. And exhale, step, jump, or float, land light into a nice forward fold. Halfway lift, inhale, take the whole inhale, inhale to arrive. Exhale, forward fold. Excellent. Inhale, chair pose. Sit the hips down and back. Sweep the arms forward and up. If you can, have your legs connected. Feet, knees, heels. Give it a little squeeze, a little grip to stabilize the hips. Nice, Norman. Beautiful. So like someone's holding onto your hips and just pulling you back just a bit. There it is. Excellent. Stay with the shake. But above all, stay with the breath. Shoulders down. Pinky spiral in, gaze up if you can, open up the upper back, take a big inhale, exhale, forward fold, just let it go. Halfway lift, inhale, gaze is forward, exhale, plant the palms, plank pose, shift forward, lower down, feel your strength in the low hold, nice, inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, back to a nice, strong, downward-facing dog. Off to a beautiful start. Let's stay with it. Warrior one, inhale, right leg up and back. Exhale, step the right foot forward. Drop your back, left heel, and inhale, arms out, back, and up. Palms touch, thumbs cross. Put a little angle on your back foot, exactly. Left toes forward just a bit so you can get your hips to square off. 
Right toes, make sure they're directly forward. Bend your front knee. What's going on? Bend your front knee. There it is. Squaring off hips. Left to forward, right hip back, shoulders down. There you go. Gaze is up. Nice opening for the upper spine. There it is, Victoria. So pulling the navel in toward the spine is going to help your lower back here. It's okay if there's a back bend, but still engage your lower abdomen. Good. Keep your back legs strong. Nice, Patricia. These look good. These look fabulous. Now notice if your traps are up by your earlobes. There you go. Pull one down. Keep your arms straight. Take a big inhale. Exhale, open. Big warrior two. Step the right foot forward. <laughs> Slide it forward. Start coming down deep into the posture. Back leg really locked. Beautiful. Make sure your left foot is parallel to the back of the mat, pushing heel back just a bit. Gazing forward. You got it. Let's find just a nice strong posture here. Shoulders open. Yeah, feel that? There you go. Shoulder blades pull down the back, but keep the ribs hugging in. So if you feel like in opening your shoulders, your ribs bow forward and bow out, I want you to think about pulling the ribs in. Yes, nice. Right there it is. Back leg locked. Now bend the front knee just a little bit more. Yeah, try not to lean forward. There it is. Take a big inhale. And exhale, cartwheel the hands down to the mat. Find a plank pose here. You're welcome to lift the right leg as an option. Shift forward, connect to the low hold. Inhale, upward facing dog, just a nice big breath in. And exhale, roll over the toes, send the hips back. Downward facing dog. <laughs> Getting into the left side, inhale, left leg up and back. Exhale, step the left foot forward, drop the back heel, and inhale, rise. Where you're one. There it is. Good. So again, feet planted on the floor, legs strong, especially that back leg. It tends to want to bend a little bit. Make sure you can squeeze the right quadricep. And if it tweaks your knee at all, it just means your foot is probably too open. Have your toes pointing forward, the right toes pointing forward just a little bit. Yeah. Hip square, core strong. Now when you pull your shoulders down the back, it might make your elbows bend a tiny bit. That's okay. We work from the ground up, so prioritize shoulders down, and then over time, your elbows will continue to straighten. So shoulders down, but push into your palms. Use the grip of the thumbs to help the elbows open up in time. Then keep your arms straight, take a big inhale, and exhale directly into your warrior two. Yes, nice, Cheryl, good. Everyone's got a different process of opening up their posture from one to two. You can slide, you can creep your toes forward, you can kind of hop forward, whatever it is. Try to find the longest posture you can in the most efficient way possible. Sean, beautiful today. Back leg locked, sits bones hugging in, and just a really powerful posture. Yes, there's a lot going on here. And again, the structure of the pose, everyone's looking great, but I want you to feel that prana when you squeeze your heels. Yes, Camilo, squeeze the inner thighs. Yeah, when you level off the hips, core is strong. These are so solid, everybody. Just feel your shoulders nice and open. Good, now squeeze your right quadricep one more time. See if there's a little more depth. Bend the left knee just a little bit more. Everyone's right on their edge, I love it. Take a big inhale. And exhale, cartwheel the hands to the mat. Plank pose, gaze forward. Left leg lifts is the option. Shift forward, lower down, low hold. Nice, Jamie, inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, roll over the toes, back to a nice long down dog. Yes, spine's a little more open, a little more space in the shoulders. Make sure you're taking up space in your down dog. Another chair pose. Together, inhale, bend the knees, push the hips back, look forward. Exhale, step or jump. Yes, into your forward fold. Halfway lift, inhale. Forward fold, exhale. Inhale, chair pose, hips down, arms up. Yep, just move with the breath. Don't overthink it. <laughs> Shoulder width. <laughs> She's smiling. That's a good thing. Shoulders down. Fabulous. Fabulous. And again, from the ground up. So shift the weight back in the heels just a bit. Yes, a little bit more. There, there, there. Good. Now shoulders down. When you spiral the pinkies in, the upper back gets a little broader. Chest muscles engaged. Use those muscles to actually lean back just a bit more. Take a big inhale. And exhale, forward fold, just let it go. Halfway lift, inhale, recharge. Exhale, plant the palms, plank pose. Gazing forward, please shift forward, lower down, low hold. Inhale up. 
And exhale, downward facing dog. Good, getting a little quick, so just stay connected with the breath. Long, smooth flow, warrior one to two. Inhale, right leg up and back. Exhale, step the right foot forward, drop the back heel. Inhale, rise, warrior one. Exhale, open, warrior two. Nice flow, coming right into your long, low posture. Jamie's postures are really opening up. So before we go forward here, I want you to pull the sits bones together, pull the lower abdomen in, like hip bones pulling up towards your lower ribs, and try to keep that engagement as you turn the palms up to the ceiling and reach your upper body forward over the right leg, yes. Back leg still squeezing strong as many times as it takes. If the front knee is hooking in, it's normal. Just continue to focus on opening it up. Stay low, that's good, Camilo. Then reverse the posture. Scrape the ceiling with the right hand. Left hand slides down the left leg, yes. And then gazing up past the inside of the right bicep. Fabulous work, stay strong. Bend the front knee just a bit more, shoulders level. When you're gazing up past the bicep, it feels like the ribs are kind of opening up to the ceiling. Just make sure your chest is totally parallel to the left side of your room. Good, nice Rui, come down a little bit deeper in your right knee, good. Take a big inhale. And exhale, cartwheel, hands to the mat, plank pose. Hold it here, let's find our supported side plank. Gaze down, left hand underneath left shoulder, drop the left knee below left hip, rotate right sole foot onto the floor, extend the right arm up to the sky. Y'all know what you're doing, these look nice. <laughs> so a lot of my instructions around sort of the subtleties in these postures, which for me is always endlessly fascinating, but if you feel like you're resting in your left elbow and hyperextending it, put a little bend in the knee, in the elbow, that is, pull your left shoulder blade down at the back, connect to your big lat muscle in your back here, and keep that connection as you advance it. The right arm reaches forward, lift the right leg, but if all of a sudden you're jamming your shoulder into your ear or you can't maintain that lat connection and it's all in your trap, it's better to back up a step and maintain that shoulder engagement there. Then bring the right foot down, extend the right hand up, plant your right foot on the mat. You can slide it back if you need to and then you keep lifting through the right rib cage and maybe the left hand just floats to heart center. Maybe that's not accessible today and you just wanna come up to left fingertips or not do it at all, that's fine too. Sometimes when you're on your fingertips, you can kind of walk your fingertips back towards your left knee a little bit, and all of a sudden the hand will want to lift. So just experiment with what's good for you. Good work. Keep planting right foot into the mat. If you did lift the left hand, nice try and slowly lower the left hand down. Rotate the right hand down. You're back in a plank pose. Take a moment here. Nice neutral neck. Thighs locked. Again, you're welcome to lift the right leg. Take a big inhale. Exhale, shift forward, slowly lower down, chaturanga low hold. Inhale, slowly upward facing dog. And exhale, back to a nice long downward facing dog. Sometimes that chaturanga is a hard hold. And then we quickly come into up dog and down dog. Stay connected to your breath throughout. Left side with flow. Inhale, left leg up and back. Exhale, step the left foot forward, drop the back heel. Inhale, rise, warrior one. Exhale, open, warrior two. Good, finding that depth. So again, we took a moment to set up the hips before we did anything else. Part of what I'm doing is helping you find that Mulan Uddiyana Bandha. Navel hugs in, feel that strong root lock, and keep your glutes gently engaged. Not really gentle, squeeze your sits bones. Turn the palms up to the ceiling, maintain that. Reach your upper body forward over the left leg. Yes, strong lower abdomen here. It actually saves us. It gives us more freedom in the upper body. So as you stay low, keep the core lock. Reverse your posture. Good, and just if you can, connect with this concept that the more stable you are from the waist down, the more freedom your upper body has to open up. It's rooted, so the upper body's not having to compensate. Beautiful, look at this. Just breathing easily here, just opening up the shoulders a hair. Relax the right trap down if you can. Very nice, just reach back, stretch back, take a big inhale. And exhale, cartwheel the hands down to the mat, just pausing here. Supported side plank, right hand underneath right shoulder, drop the right knee below the right hip, rotate left sole foot onto the floor, left arm reaches up. So a few little details here, try to have <laughs> your back foot parallel to the back edge of the mat, looks great. And again, 
Hug your right shoulder blade down the back if you can. Try to find that. Like you have a tennis ball underneath your underarm and you're squeezing it. Yes. Keep that connection as you advance. Left arm reaches forward. Lift the left leg. Sometimes we want to go into advanced versions of these postures just because we do. But we're not focusing so much on the base. And I want you to care about those details. Pushing down through the right knee. Nice, Cheryl. Core is strong. Left foot back to the mat, left arm reaches up, keep lifting, slide the left heel back an inch or two, try to do to this side what you did to the other. Again, your hand could just stay on the mat, that's just fine. Think about creating lightness of the right palm at minimum. Yep, come to fingertips, hand to heart center, lift the angle of the body a little bit more. Keep squeezing your left quadricep, this looks great. Breathe. Slowly return the right hand down. Slowly return the left hand down. You're back in a plank pose now. Take a moment. Establish your plank pose. You can lift the left leg. Take an extra inhale. Exhale, shift forward. Lower down, low hold. Inhale, upward facing dog. There it is. And exhale, roll over the toes back to a nice long down dog. Oh, that intentional movement goes a long way. Sometimes we can get our body in the postures, and that's good too. Try to stay connected to each little step. Notice where you are in your breath count. Ah, so everybody, nice big inhale. And exhale. Balancing on one foot, one to three. Inhale, right leg up and back. Exhale, step the right foot forward, drop the back left heel. Inhale, rise, strong warrior one. Take a moment, set it up. Are your arms as straight as they'll go? Same thing here. You want to use the palms squeezing together, kind of biceps against your cheeks. Warrior three, shift the weight to the right leg. Push off the back leg if you need. Yes, body down, leg up. Good, you got it. Now straighten your back limb a little bit more. There you go, Jamie. Straighten your left leg a little bit more. That's it. It's okay. Just stay here for a moment. You can maintain here or open up to a... Airplane pose, gaze down, arms are right out to the side like airplane wings. You could stay here, bring your hands behind the back, interlace all ten fingers. Just challenging your balance here. Keep pushing down through the big toe. Great choice. Nice, Kristen. Nice, Julie. These look great. Airplane pose. Keep the chest lifted. Warrior three pose. Gaze forward. Palms connected. You got it, Teresa. Just right there. Step back lightly. Warrior one, hips are square. Take the inhale. Exhale, open big warrior two. Good. Look into our hips a little bit here. Straighten your front leg. Ooh, turn your toes in, face the side of the room. Yeah. Actually, let's do something different. Hands of prayer, heels in, toes out, bend your knees. Come down on your hips this way. Yeah. Now notice if you're leaning forward, it's normal, but I'd like you to prioritize scooping your hips and keeping your back as straight as possible. Yeah. And just take a moment, maybe shift left and right at your own pace. Just start to explore your range of motion here. Best as you can, try to have your kneecaps tracking over your big toes. Good. Then come back to center. And then dip your hips down. Woo! And then squeeze your inner thighs and lift. <laughs> Good. And down. And lift. If you like, arms up. Down. And lift. That's three. Four. Lift. Five, we're going for 10. And lift, try not to straighten your legs. Down, and lift, four more. Down, and lift, three, good. Two, nice, and one, good. Bring your hands up prayer. Straighten your legs. Turn your front toes forward. Come back into your warrior two base and just open up your arms. There it is, nice strong warrior two. Good. Now really feel your inner thighs. Squeeze the heel. Core strong. Turn the palms up. Reach the upper body forward. Reverse the posture. Take a big inhale. And exhale. Cartwheel the hands down to the mat. Plank pose. Gaze is forward. Shift forward. Lower down. Chaturanga. Low hold. Inhale. Upward facing dog. And exhale. Back to a nice long downward facing dog. Good. Nice. Beautiful, Nikki. Strong, long posture. Warrior one to three on the left side. Inhale, left leg up and back. Exhale, step the left foot forward. Drop your back right heel. Just inhale, rise. Get a solid warrior one here. Hip square, shoulder square. Arms squeeze straight. Try not to drop your arms in the transition. Just keep them straight and strong. 
One straight line from hips to fingertips. Warrior three, shift the weight to the left leg. Push off the back leg, excellent work. Now stretch the body long the whole time. Don't wait to get in the posture and stretch long. It's the whole time we're stretching the body long. That's it, Jamie, beautiful. Then gaze down, arms out to the side, airplane wings if you choose. A little shift of weight. Keep working the standing legs straight and strong. Hands behind the back if you did on the other side. Or interlace all 10 fingers. Lift through the upper back. Yes, now stretch longer. That's beautiful. Stay grounded through the big toe. Airplane pose. Gaze forward, commit to it. Warrior three pose. You've got this, you've got this. Stretch longer. Step back lightly where your one hips are square. Good, big inhale. Exhale, open big where your two. Let's do it again on this side. Straighten your front leg. I'm not used to the mirroring thing. Heels in, toes out, hands at prayer, sit down into the hips. Good, now if you'd like that extra challenge, we're gonna do the exact same thing. If you like the extra challenge, you can try and lift your heels up too. Woo! Let's come down a little deeper. Doesn't matter how lifted you are, just a little bit. Good, then pulse down and squeeze up. Arms up if you choose. Down and up, yeah. Down, that's three. And up, keep squeezing the sits bones. Four and up, otherwise just holding. Five and up. Six, squeeze up. Seven, again, inner thighs. Eight, nice. Nine, breathing. And 10, good, some of you went for the heel lift. I love it, straighten the legs, hands of prayer. Turn your left toes forward. Gaze is forward, bend your left knee, open up the arms, strong warrior two. Good, back leg locked, front knee pointing forward. Turn the palms up, reach forward. Reverse the posture, big inhale, and exhale, cartwheel hands to the mat. Plank pose, gaze forward, shift forward, lower down, low hold. Good, inhale, upward facing dog, and exhale, back to a nice long down dog. Again, just take a moment, back to breath, back to gaze. Good, nice simple transition here to triangle pose. Inhale, right leg up and back. Exhale, step the right foot up between the hands. Drop the back left heel, both legs straight. Take a hold of your right ankle with the right hand. Ex left arm right up to the sky. Both legs straight. You got it. You okay? Stay with it here. Good. So make sure your back foot has an angle to it. So heel back. Yeah. So when your heel is back and your toes are forward just a little bit, it changes what's going on in the left hip. Yeah, the left hip is kind of down and forward so that you can stretch the body long, yes. Feeling both sides of the torso ideally equally lengthened, there it is. If you do like it, squeeze the quads, the core, the bottom hand can rise to heart center, but if it puts too much stress on your joints, lower back, back up a step. Squeeze the muscles a little bit more. If it feels good, left hand at heart center. I just like to offer this as an option, right? Don't feel obligated to anything really. Arms reach forward. But it's just kind of challenging and I really want you to listen to your body, not just crank on your lower back or really like rest in your backs of your knees. Good, then just open back to a triangle pose. Reach down, reach up, open the ribs just a little bit more and focus on keeping your chest sort of at the same angle it is without dipping the chest. Just rotate the left hand down toward the floor and then shorten up the stance just enough. So yeah, so you wanna square up your hips here. Right hip back, left hip forward. Yes, so we're about to do a revolve triangle pose. So front leg straight, good, spine long. Then revolve by taking hold of the right ankle with the left hand, reach up with the right hand. Yes, good, nice, it looks great. Back leg strong, nice, Teresa. The alignment in the hips is just right. Stay with it here, yeah. Once your hips are aligned, then you just focus on your range of motion. So if you can gaze up, but just kind of spin through the middle ribs, this is perfect. The arm reaching up, the gaze up, these are all just helps. Good, stay with it here, nice. Rotate the right hand down. Give yourself a forward fold here, forehead to the knee or to the shin. Why not? Personally, the way I put this in the sequence is just because I need it in my practice. Just a little moment to catch your breath, to release tension in the jaw. The face, it's nice to have a little hamstring love before we're about to balance on our standing legs. So take this moment to nurture, to care, to reconnect with the breath. Good, then flatten out the back. Don't skip this step, no curved spine here. Gaze in front of the big toes, shift the weight forward, airplane pose, lift and take off. Lift and take off, yeah. 
Keep this sequence here nice and simple. So just focus on your standing leg. Keep the upper body lifted, the back leg lifted. Then open up to your half moon without reaching for the floor. Yep, you got it. Nice work. Flex at the left ankle. Good. Then back to airplane pose. As you point the left toes, feel your whole back body right now engaged. The more engaged it is, the easier it is to lift. Then revolve, left arm down, right arm up. Focus on tucking the shoulder underneath the body, reaching up with the right hand, very similar to the revolved triangle pose. Then back to airplane pose. Make it bright, lift just a little bit more. Step back lightly where your one hips are square. Hips are square. Ha. Take the big inhale. Exhale, open big warrior two. Nice long, low stance. Inner thighs had a little love. We've got depth in this posture. So is it your deepest, most stable pose? Turn the palms up, reach forward, reverse the posture, take the big inhale. Side angle pose, right elbow side, right knee, left arm reaches up. If you need to modify elbow to knee contact, if your fingers are touching the mat, no gold stars. <laughs> Stay with it here. <laughs> Good. Again, the modification here is just to kind of give you a little bit of support, but eventually it can translate into opening it up all the way. Go for the bind, half bind or full bind, if it's in your practice. Good. Victoria, lift your hand up off the mat. You're strong enough to do that. <laughs> yeah. Stay here. I want you to lift your right rib cage up off your thigh. Nope. Bend your right knee. Just lift your whole torso. <sighs> Oh, crack, crack, crack. Okay, stay with it here. Good. I want you to use your core strength here. Pull your sits bones together. So keep your core strong. Make sure you're not resting in your right hip. Open up the arms. Come right back up to your warrior two. Now level off the hips. If you're sinking into your right hip at all, again, squeezing the sits bones is going to give you a little bit more access to the leveling off. Come a little bit deeper. Take a big inhale. And exhale, cartwheel the hands to the mat. Plank pose. Let's do our full side plank here. Gaze down, bring the left hand underneath left shoulder, stack a right foot on top of left, extend the right arm up to the sky. If you need to modify a knee to the mat. Nice, Aaron, beautiful alignment, everybody. Look at these clean foot stacks. Nobody's hooking their big toes, I love it. Advance the posture if you choose. Otherwise, maintaining good work. Top hand flaring wide, strong, energetic posture. Just find your depth, maintain, you've got it. Keep the hips driving up. If you lift to the right leg, bring it down neatly. Rotate the right hand down. You're just back in a nice strong plank pose. Good thighs lock, feet hip width. Take the inhale. Shift forward, lower down, chaturanga, low hold. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, roll over the toes. Downward facing dog. Nice. Left side triangle pose. Inhale, left leg up and back. Exhale, step the left foot up between the hands. Drop the back right heel, both legs straighten. Take a hold of left ankle, left hand, right arm reaches up to the sky. Nice alignment. Good, Teresa, push your right heel back a little bit. That way, toes forward, heel back. Nice, strong alignment. Yes, and again, the right hip kind of down and forward, if you can bring some attention to that, because otherwise it's hard. We feel a little bunched up on the left rib cage. You want to do it so you can feel length on your left side. Then the bottom left hand lifts to heart center if it doesn't compromise anything else. Then the right hand meets the left. Nice little checkpoint. See how that feels. Then the arms reach forward if you did it on the other side. Beautiful work. Keep squeezing the quads. If your quads aren't given a squeeze, we're not supporting the posture. Excellent, Pam. Stay with it right there. Open up the arms. Open up the ribs just a little bit more. And we'll rotate the right hand down. Shorten the stance just enough to get your hips square. Don't overdo it. It actually kind of curbs our progress here. You want to make sure you've got enough length to actually feel the flatness and length of your spine. And then revolve. Take a hold of your left ankle with the right hand. So there's more to it than just reaching up, right? With your hips square, your spine long, your core strong, it's just from the middle ribs up. You want to tuck your shoulder so it's hovering above your big toe in space and reach up through left rib cage. It's a very deep posture. If you're uncomfortable, I promise you, you're not alone. Good, Pam. Lift your chest up just a little bit more. Good. Then rotate the left hand down. Way to work it. Give yourself that little forward fold here. A little moment to get grounded. Not too long. Just some releasing of the jaw, reconnecting with the breath. 
In just a moment to set your mind right. Be determined here. Make up your mind to nail this. Gaze in front of the big toe, flatten the back. Shift the weight forward and lift and take off. And if you're doing it, I'd really like to see that you're putting the energy into the posture it requires. Mostly because it's when we're kind of curving down like a broken umbrella, as Bikram says, that's when we feel a little bit more injury to the back. So keep strong. Then open up to your half moon pose. Nice clean transition. Gaze is still at the mat. Right hip stacks on top of the left. Flex your right ankle. Then back to airplane pose. Rotate the hip down. Use your arms. Use the limbs. Just stretch them out nice and long. Revolve right arm down, left arm up. Again, very similar to revolve triangle pose. Keep the spine long. Keep the tuck of the shoulder. The reach of the left rib cage, then back to airplane pose. It's just a moment here. Feel your strength. Step back lightly, warrior one, hips square, arms up. Take the inhale. Exhale, open, big warrior two. Ah, nice work. Turn the palms up, reach forward, reverse. Take a nice, generous inhale. Side angle pose, left elbow inside the left knee, right arm reaches up to the sky. Yes, look at all the strength, I love it. Again, hips nice and strong, chest stays lifted. Bind the posture if you bind, half bind or a full bind. So if you're bending your elbow and you're placing it on the thigh, it's a wonderful modification. Just over time, notice how much little weight you can put into it. So you need a little bit of support, but just minimize the amount of weight you put into it. Over time, it'll turn into the strength you're looking for. Good, open up through the right rib cage. Excellent, Teresa, stay with it here. Beautiful work, Nikki. Open up the arms if you did bind. Stay low, come right back up into your best warrior two. The hips are nice and open. It's the last warrior two, so come down nice and deep. Take an inhale. And exhale, cartwheel the hands down, hold your plank, gaze down, right hand underneath the right shoulder, full side plank, stack the left foot on top of the right, full side plank, open up to the left side of the room. Toes and heels stack, the gaze is at one point, it's alright to stagger the feet, it's alright to bring the knee to the mat if you need, advance it if you did it on the other side, scissoring the left leg up, driving the hips up, gaze is up, there it is, keep the hips driving up, it's an arm balance amongst other things, so make sure you're giving that same shoulder integrity here, pulling shoulder blade down the back, pushing down through the palm, if you lift to the left leg, bring it down neatly. Rotate the left hand down. You're back in a plank position here. Plank pose. Beautiful. Take the inhale. Shift forward. Lower down. Chaturanga. Low hold. Inhale. Upward facing dog. Exhale. Downward facing dog. Ha. Back to breath. Back to gaze. Like I said in the beginning of class, we just take it one posture at a time. Nothing to overthink. One breath at a time one cue from your teacher at a time. So one at a time, lunge pose. Inhale, right leg up and back. Exhale, step the right foot up by your right hand, high on the ball of the left foot in lunge pose. Inhale, arms forward and up. So spin the back heel up, there you go. Hips are square. And let's find a version that works for us, all right? So Victoria, lift your back heel, lunge pose, back heel, left heel, up, there it is. Hips are square, yeah. And if this is a lot and you can't keep the back leg locked, the next step would bring the knee on the mat, right? Otherwise, I want you to see that whole uh, strength of the back leg. Then hands of prayer, heart center. And if you'd like to work on the strength, just three of these. Bend the left knee and then squeeze the left leg. I like it because it's strength building, but also gives you a sense of how much energy, energy is in the squeeze. Just two more. Bend the left knee. And then feel length in the back of the left knee as you squeeze the quadricep. One more time. Bend the left knee. And then straighten it, feel that lock. Now maintain it as you spin to the right and hook your left elbow to the outside of the right knee. This is a good choice. Otherwise, maintain your base. Good, chest stays lifted. If you've leaned forward, use the elbows pushing, or the elbow into the knee, the right hand and the left, just really straighten out the spine. Then open up the arms, if you do. Ryan, perfect alignment today. Bind, if you do. Aaron's going for it. Ray's going for it. Beautiful. If you bound, extend your arms open. Touch the mat. Hands at prayer, heart center. And then just rise right back to center. Use that. That's it. It's all good. Lower. Back leg locked. There it is. Inhale, arms up. And exhale, hands to the mat. Plank pose. Gaze forward. Lower down. Chaturanga. Low hold. 
Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. So I love it. Everybody taking care of their body in the practice. I see some modifications. I see some resting postures. It's all beautiful. It's all welcomed. Like I said in the beginning of the class, we just take a one posture at a time. You don't know until you're there what it means to take care of your body. But if you did it on the right side, please give it a go on the left side. One cue at a time. Inhale, left leg up and back. Exhale, step the left foot up by your left hand. Come up high on the ball of your right foot, and then inhale, arms forward and up. So try to get the feet in place before you lift up. Yeah, because it changes what's going on in the hips. Yeah, the back leg is strong, the core is strong, and then we stabilize. Good. And then the hands come to prayer, heart center. And just keep your lower abdomen hugging up and in, and then bend the right knee. Keep your hips as level as possible. And then squeeze the right knee straight and strong. Ooh. Bend the right knee. You choose how much. And then squeeze it straight and strong. Last one. Bend the right knee. And then squeeze it straight and strong and keep that connection to the back leg. Stay there or revolve to the left. Connect your right elbow outside of the left knee. Utilize the leverage. Elbow into knee. Left hand pushing into the right. Yes. Open up the arms if you did so on the other side. <laughs> Bind if you bound. Perfect work. That's hard. I know it is. Now keep your chest lifted. Commit to the back leg being locked. Open up the arms if you bound. Prayer twist. A little twisted. Come right back up to center. Feel the strength in your legs. There it is. That's it. It's all good. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, hands to the mat, plank pose, gaze forward, and lower down, chaturanga, low hold. Inhale, upward facing dog, and exhale, roll over the toes back to a nice long downward facing dog. And in your down dog, just take a nice big inhale, and exhale. We're going to work through our last two postures, two balancing postures, and then take our break. So stay strong with me. Inhale, bend the knees, push the hips back, look forward. Exhale, step or jump between the hands into your fold. Halfway lift, inhale. And forward fold, exhale. One more time. Half lift, inhale. Forward fold, exhale. And then to standing, inhale, arms out, back and up. Look up, stretch up, palms touch. Then just bring your hands to prayer, heart center, and gaze forward. And then relax your arms at your side. Gaze forward. Draw relaxed. Lips sealed. Breathing through your nose. Just take a moment. Lots of prana in the body after all that work. Really normal. So take this one step at a time. Lock your left leg, left hand on the left hip. Good. Pick up your right knee and hug the front of the right knee with your right hand or pick up the big toe with peace fingers of your right hand. Nice work. Standing legs strong. Yep. If you've got the toe, extend the right heel forward. Make sure your arm is on the inside of your knee in that transition. Good, Sean. I love that work. Love it. Open up to the right side of the room. Careful with the right hip swinging back. Standing leg is strong. Your core is strong here, right? Your lower abdomen is helping your chest stay lifted. Some of you switch your gaze, which is beautiful. Gaze back to center. Bring the leg back to center. You want to level off your hips. Bring the right knee back into the chest. Just nice and simple. Mountain pose. Feet together. Arms relaxed. <laughs> so hips square, shoulders square. And keep them that way the whole time. So right leg locks, right hand on the right hip. Pick up the left knee or the big toe. Don't overthink it. If you're going to do it, just set it up. Let your body just follow the cues, and if it's not healthy, of course, back up a step, take a break, but if it's in your practice, just commit to it, yep. So the left shoulder needs to loop back, right? There it is. Then extend the left heel forward, if you've got the toe. <sighs> then open up to the left side and get taller as you do so. Get taller as you do so. Think about, yes, feel that? That's the right work, though. That's the energy we're looking for in the spine. So sometimes it's helpful not to focus so much on opening the leg, but more on keeping the torso lifted. If you switch your gaze, gaze back to center, bring the left leg back to center, bring the left knee in for a base, 
And then very simple, mountain pose, feet together, arms relaxed. Make that as uncomplicated as you can. Put your body in a mountain pose, breathe through your nose, and whatever sensations are moving through the body, let them have their course. Sometimes we get a little dizzy, we sit down. It's that simple. But otherwise, breathe, maintain. Good. Standing bow pulling pose. Left arm to the sky. Palm is forward. Right elbow, right hip. Palm is facing up. Bend your right knee. Take a hold of the foot from the inside. Such nice stability in the class. As soon as I gave some cues, though, we went back to scratching and adjusting. No need. You're just in your setup. Here we go. Left arm. Whoosh, inhale. Kick straight back. Let the kick open up the body. So it's a journey, right? The right heel travels away from the right shoulder, the right hip as you kick. Jamie, perfect. Stay on the kick. Stay on the reach. If your left elbow is bent, straighten it. Keep the shoulders open. That's it. Find your depth, Ryan. That's excellent. Stay with it. Lift and reach to exit. Bring the knees together side by side. Let them touch. Mountain pose. Feet together. Arms relax. Gaze is forward. Again, give yourself that moment. Let your body be still. Let your breath move. Let your body adjust. That's a big, powerful posture. We save it for the end of the sequence for a reason. Good. Right arm up to the sky. Palm is forward. Left elbow, left hip. Palm is facing up. Bend the left knee. Take a hold of your foot from the inside. Knees together. Excellent setup. Right arm straight as an arrow. And kick straight back. Let the kick open the body. I want your fingertips shooting like arrows between your eyes and the front mirror. That's it, Jamie. More energy in that right arm. Yes. Stay on the kick. Stay on the reach. The shoulders were open. The consistency of kicking and reaching in opposite directions is where the work is. Stay consistent. The body will continue to open. If you feel it, you can come a little bit deeper. And then lift and reach to exit. Keep everything zipped up into your midline. Knees together. Reach straight up with your bicep to your ear. Good. Then mountain pose. Feet together. Arms relaxed. Whew. Let's call that a standing series. If you'd like to take a sip of water, feel free. Dead pose. Shavasana. Hmm. Close your eyes. Give yourself a moment. You just work so hard. Some of you already worked to your max and needed to take resting postures. Well done. Well done. This is our opportunity for everyone to just kind of reset together. So we close our eyes, come back to our breath, the body be still. Hmm. Stuff is so powerful what we do in here. I mean, there's just something about it. It's just so this magic that happens, this reset. I woke up yesterday morning early, so cranky, no reason. Came to the 615 class, poof. Just felt so much better afterwards, had a fabulous day. Didn't really matter why I was cranky, it really didn't. Spent time analyzing it. Yesterday, it didn't matter. Had some things to let go of, had my process in class, and it was gone, it was gone. Nothing to think about, just, Things moving through. So that's why it's so important to work hard and then to find these moments of stillness and just let those sensations, whatever comes up, let them just sort of move through you like a wave. But more aware of the stillness than the wave itself. Your body is still, your breath is easy. There's a part of you just totally unaffected unaffected. Maybe that makes sense. Maybe not. <laughs> Whatever that means to you today, from that place, take a big inhale, feel some expansion, some space, and exhale, just let it go. So nice today. Just open your eyes, come back to the room. We only really truly have a few postures left. Try to practice your yoga on the floor. 
Be aware of the stillness. Turn your energy on when it's time for a posture. Don't overthink it. Just give your everything, then be done with it. Just back into the same stillness. Try it here. Bring your feet together. Flex at the ankles. Link the thumbs. Inhale the arms over the head. And sit up and double exhale. Get rid of all the stale air, stale energy. Give yourself a forward fold here. Spinal strengthening series. Roll over onto your belly. Face the front of the room. Place your hands underneath the shoulders, all five fingers nice and tight together. So even with the dialogue, you've heard it a time or two before, let it help you just move right through. Elbows in. Now focus on your thighs locking. Your, get your cobra's tail engaged. Nice, Camilo. Squeeze the heels. Exhale. And on the inhale, with straight legs, look up, go up. Push your big toes into the floor. Very little weight in the hands. Yes. The weight in the hands is just for stability. Squeeze your butt a little bit more. Squeeze your toes a little bit more. And lift up one more inch. And then lower down with control. Arms aside, gaze to the right. Left here on the mat. And again, just back. The stillness into that refining process. Your body just whew, knows what to do. Sit on the mat, hands underneath the shoulders. Just set up the same posture. Then slide your hands back. So the heels of the hands are at your hip bones. Slide your hands back about six inches this time. There you go. Then squeeze the legs. Squeeze them. Exhale. Why wait? On the inhale, lift the chest and the legs, because it's hard. I know. <laughs> Good. But really give yourself that energy of squeezing the legs. Posture are really nice. Push down into the palms. Push down into the fingertips. Shoulder heads a little higher. See if you can feel the muscles in your middle spine contract, and then squeeze your legs straight one more time, and lower down with control. Arms aside. Gaze to the left side, right here on the mat. That's done. That's over. What's left is the benefit. Oh. The experience of the posture is it leaves the body. Try to be aware of it, but don't hold on. Chin on the mat, lift the hips, bring the straight arms underneath the body. Palms flip down, pinkies together, elbows underneath the body. Just the third and final part. So you tuck the chin, place your lips, nose against the mat, lock the legs, exhale, lock the legs, and on the inhale, lift the chest, or rather lift the legs. Nice work. Beautiful. Beautiful. Look at these postures. Victoria, straighten your legs. You've got this. Straighten, 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 straighten. No bent knees here. Good. Now keep pushing down into the palms. Point the toes. One more inch. Then lower down with control. Arms to the side. You're going to release from, by lifting your hips. Gaze to the right. Left here on the mat. Let it go. Just because I know you like it. <laughs> oh, why not? Then chin on the mat. Bring the hands behind the back. Interlace all ten fingers. Straighten your arms. Lift your arms up a bit. Lock the legs. Exhale. And on the inhale, lift the chest and the legs together. Yes, fly, beautiful, beautiful. Look at these postures, amazing. Aaron, try and look forward here. If you're looking at the mat, look forward. And as your arms sweep out, bring them up and back in a V, try to look a little further up. And then even more look up as your arms sweep forward to shoulder width. And then no more cobra's tail. Separate your legs to hip width. There you go, and just be strong here. Yeah, it's just a moment. So pull your shoulders down, hands a little closer away if you can. Lift the chest, lift the legs, and then lower down with control. Arms aside, gaze to the left, right here on the mat. Let go of any of that drama going on in the head. I have it too. I have it too, especially after that one for some reason. For a long time, I skipped that posture because I was like, oh, something doesn't feel right. And then I realized all that wasn't right is that I wasn't strength, strong in my upper back. And I was like, oh, I actually need to do this one. So much upper back strength in that posture and such a beautiful preparation for our floor bow. So chin on the mat, bend the knees, take a hold of the feet from the outside. Gaze forward, forward, please. Forward first, please. There we go. Try to just make sure you're aligned. Yeah. So knees to the left a bit, Sean. Good. Push your knees into the mat. Exhale. And on the inhale, kick. Kick into the hands. Yeah. So you're pushing down onto your sternum. I know that sounds funny because usually we can't quite arrive there. But focusing on energy there actually allows you to tip forward. Yeah. And then kick a little bit more. Yeah, Camila. Beautiful. Stay on the kick. And then lower down with control. Arms aside. Gaze to the right. Left ear on the mat. Be done. That's over. Ah. Let's do it just one more time. Chin on the mat. Bend the knees. Take a hold of the feet from the outside. Good. Thumb with the fingers. If your thumbs are at your arches of your foot, 
Wrap them around the top of your foot. Knees six inches apart. And again, focus on that spot right below your ribs. Exhale, and on the inhale, kick. Kick and allow the weight to be forward. Yep, beautiful. The shoulders are soft, but the grip is strong. The kick is on. See if your knees will come a little closer together. Might mean less back bend, but more hip flexor opening. Good, stay with it here. Now kick, 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 kick. And lower down with control. Arms aside, gaze left, right here on the mat. Let it go. Sorry, love. Sorry. Let that go. Oh, child's pose. Chin on the mat, push back through an all fours position, balasana, knees wide, toes touch. Nice little back release here. Such nice work today. Your last little prep here for our back bends. Make sure you're getting length in your spine, space in your lower back. Take a nice big inhale. And exhale. Good, and then push up to an all fours position. Stand up on your knees. Stand up on your knees. Knees six inches apart. Hands on the low back. Fingertips down, thumbs on the outside. If you feel dizzy or lightheaded, take another inhale to really give yourself some support. Tuck the tailbone, look back, go back, hips forward, camel pose. Make sure you look back kind of first. Yeah, then reach back, right hand to right heel, left hand to left heel, or vice versa. It really doesn't matter which hand first. Just one hand at a time. Sean, can you look back? Hips forward now. Like my hands between your shoulder blades lifting up. Yes, look at that. Oh, my word. Then hands on the low back, rise to the heart. Head stacks last. Sit back onto your heels. Dead pose. Turn around. Shavasana. Arms relaxed, jaw soft. Ah, ideally this dead pose, feeling more and more welcomed in the body. Just a few more postures to go. Deepest back bend you've got right here. You can sit up, turn around, do another camel, wheel pose, bridge pose, scorpion pose, whatever works for you. Let's go for it. Bend the knees, place the feet flat on the floor for bridge or wheel. If you're sitting there thinking about it, I recommend just doing it. Feet hip width apart, fingertips grazing the backs of the heels for bridge, hands up by the ears for wheel, tuck the tailbone. Focus on the articulation of the spine as you drive the hips up. Tuck the tailbone, one vertebra at a time. <laughs> nice. Now imagine you have a ball between your knees, just a little squeeze. Yeah, feel that energy, energetic line on the inner thighs. Beautiful, stay with it here. And then walk it out, chin to chest, round on down. Oh, round, down, round, down. Dead pose. Ah. Back release pose. Bring your knees into the chest. Give yourself a hug. Give yourself some love. Give yourself a little back release. Sometimes being in dead pose is plenty. Sometimes supta bada konasana is plenty. But when you're ready, coming into plow pose. Plow pose. Rock your hips above the shoulders, hands on the low back. It's a tricky one, especially if you've been done in a while. <laughs> hands on the low back is going to support your back. Yep, if initially you're piked, that's just fine. Eventually, over time, legs become totally perpendicular to the floor, toes pointing to the ceiling. But sometimes you can't actually tell from that angle, looking up at your toes. Oftentimes, our toes are pointing a little bit forward, and we have to really engage the core, bringing the heels back. Uh-huh, just keep lifting into it, and then hinge at the hips. Bring the toes over the head toward the floor for your, oh, sorry, plow pose here. Sorry, we were just doing shoulder stand. Now plow pose. Mm. Now plow pose, yes. Hmm. Now coming down one vertebra at a time, slow and controlled. Extend the left leg, right knee to the chest, outside the rib cage. And all we've got left is our twist. So make sure this twist feels right for your body. Draw the knee down to the left side, right hip will lift, right arm reaches out to the right. Gaze out over your outstretched arm. Hmm. Bring the right knee into the chest. Give it a hug. Give it a squeeze. Release the right leg all the way down. Just switch sides. <clears throat> and twist.
Come right back to center. Bring both knees in. Give a little squeeze, a little hug. And dead pose. Extend your legs, arms aside, close your eyes. You have a moment. You have a moment. And you did work hard for this moment, is the truth. With your eyes closed and your body still. Every class is a little bit different. Every dead pose is a little bit different. Nothing to judge, though, here. But at minimum, put your body as physically still of a pose as possible. Nothing to move, nothing to do. Make sure you feel your breath in and out through the nose. And visualize your breath moving through your whole body, not just your chest, not just your belly. Feel it in your hips, your legs, your joints, your knees, your ankles, your toes. Feel your breath move through your collarbones, into your shoulders, your arms. Elbows, wrists, fingers, just feel your breath move. Feel your breath in the crown of your head, your jaw, your cheeks. As we close our practice, try to take your fullest, most body-filling, room-filling breath you can. Take the big inhale through the nose. And let it go. Herb work today, everybody. Stay here as long as you need, as always. And thank you for being here today. Namaste.